Alrighty, y'all. Hello, and welcome back to a battle between the 99% of the world and three countries, the biggest being the U.S. And that is, of course, that we use the imperial system, U.S. customary system, whatever you want to call it, it kind of has a lot of names, you know, inches, feet, miles, yards, that kind of thing, right? Pounds for weight. And of course, everyone else uses metric. Now, metric is inherently, at least on paper and in practice, better, right? It makes sense. It's a decimal system. You know, you're dealing with one, tens, hundreds, thousands, right? Everything's dividable. You know, division and conversions are easy. Kind of lined up and makes sense, right? I'm not going to sit here and deny that. I still wonder to this day why the U.S. hasn't changed, right? It seems as if after all this time, I would assume they just will never change. But I will throw it out there, right, that a lot of metric is here currently that a lot of people who have never been here may not realize, right? I'm not saying we're full on metric like everyone else, but metric is very present here. So let me point out some examples, right? Like an automotive, that's one. I'm a car guy, right? We measure our engines in metric, right? Our Subaru has a 2.4 liter turbo. My Crown Victoria police car has a 4.6 liter V8. You can even measure engines in cc's, which of course is metric as well, cubic centimeters. You know, so a lot of times with like motorcycles, right? Like, oh, that has a 600 cc engine, right? Not to mention tools and working on cars. It's almost all metric with the tools, right? Famously, everyone loses their 10 millimeter wrench. Well, that's the one you need the most because most even American cars, you need 10 mils for a lot of basic bolts, right? NASA, our military, a lot of metric going on. Our food labels, right? Literally looking at the nutrition metric. And what's funny is if I look up what the U.S. customary system of measurement is, this is what uh, Google gives me, is that United, the USCS is a system of measurement used in the United States and some other countries. It's based on the English system of a measurement that's been in the U.S. since before the American Revolution. It's a hybrid system that uses the, both the USCS and metric system measurements. You know, you have like the American stuff that's still slightly different than the British imperial stuff. And then, of course, metrics. So it's kind of all a mess from our point of view. But for some reason, we don't change. And that I can't speak on. I don't know why. <laughs> now, I will say, like I always do, I don't mind it because I grew up with it. I, that doesn't mean it's better. It doesn't mean I'm saying it's better. But I think people admit that you have biases when you grow up with something. So to me, the imperial system is easy. Measuring in feet and inches makes sense. Like for my height, I don't want to measure in meters or millimeters or anything right like i'm six foot three inches i think that makes sense and i wouldn't want to change it to me it's better <laughs> so i guess at best uh having a blend or hybrid uh, of both systems is the best we can do here in the u.s but converting fully yeah i just don't see it happening i'm not exactly sure why but we're gonna have a video from be smart be linked in the description down below on who invented the metric system and why it isn't perfect right some flaws in it per perhaps now that's a different take than i usually see online so i would like to see what this kind of goes on about it'll be linked in the description down below so you can watch the whole thing uninterrupted and definitely browse our channel let's take a look at this this is a meter but it's not the meter looks like okay that's a meter stick i don't think i've ever seen one of those in my life i've seen a yardstick but i think that's slightly shorter which is frustrating right <laughs> this is a meter i haven't seen that since school the meter the meter isn't a physical object locked away in some secret vault somewhere the meter is a math problem take the distance light travels in one second and cut it into this many chunks that's how we define a meter whoa but whoa why that number? Why not this many chunks or this many? It's the fundamental unit. This of is going to be above my head. System, a lot a of this built into the very foundations of physics. <laughs> so surely something in the basic laws of the universe explains why a meter is a meter. But that's not the case. The real story is full of discovery, deception, and a lot of people getting their heads cut off. Wow. Well, well, well. <laughs> Let's get into it, huh? Jeez, got to buckle up. A lot of problems with the monarchy, and Louis was going to hear about it. In their airing of grievances, the people included demands to fix France's system of weights and measures. It was a confusing mess. Every town and trade basically measure things how they want it. Oh, wow. This was not a new problem. The ancient Egyptian cubit was said to be the length of a man's arm, and the English okay. inch was three pieces of barley laid and... <laughs> Dude, I love old measurements, how they came up with this stuff, right? I guess the arm one for cubit, I've heard that before. That makes sense, right? I mean, 
you got to start somewhere. Of course, that's not perfect because everyone's arm is different, but uh, this one's funny, right? Three barleys end to end. end. <laughs> whose arm and whose barley? In France, yeah. a pound of bread sometimes really was lighter than a pound of lead. It's oh, people man. were using some 250,000 different measures, which made trade difficult and cheating easy. That sounds like a nightmare back then, right? Holy smokes, every town could have different measurements going on? Holy scams, right? Scams run amok uh, in this kind of system, I fear. And uh, how do you even keep track of everything? That just sounds like a mess. A pint of beer in Paris For sure. is two-thirds the size of a pint in Saint-Denis. If ever See? there were an injustice worthy of revolution, it was that. France's revolutionary spirit wanted united... Yeah, don't be, uh, don't be messing with someone's beer. Come on now. And equal measures for a united and equal people. But French savants, being the enlightened dudes they were, set their goal even higher. A universal measure for all nations. Now we're talking. Nature itself. Rulers. Who needs them? The basic unit of length would be called <laughs> the meter, and all other units derived from that. The divisions of those units would be decimal and given prefixes from Greek and Latin, so the whole thing would sound old and important. All that was left to do was invent the meter. One smart choice was the length of a pendulum swinging once per second. Thomas Jefferson even agreed to make some measurements and join America into this new metric system. Problem solved, right? Wrong. What happened? <laughs> First, they had to agree on the length of a second. Mm. Some French savants wanted to throw out the day we use and replace it with a decimal day. Since no Whoa. one could agree on a second, the pendulum meter was Whoa. dropped in its place. That would be weird. Metric time? 10 hours? 10 or 100 minutes? 100 seconds? Whoa. Whoa, that'd be crazy. Okay. It's a meter defined as one ten millionth the distance between the North Pole and the equator, along a meridian passing through France. England and the USA refused to accept a measure based on a French line, and, well, we all know how that turned out. <laughs> oh, man. That must be the American attitude currently, right? I mean, that's that just fast forward 300 years. Uh, or 200 years, I guess. Uh, I think the U.S., not me or not like a lot of Americans, but just like the U.S. as a whole, you know, our government, uh, they just don't want to accept something made a long time ago from someone else, even though that's kind of what they're doing still. Yeah, it doesn't make sense. I I'm not trying to make it make sense. I'm trying to make, trying to present their argument and it's hard to do. 91 two men set out to make the meter. Their plan to measure latitude at the ends and then <laughs> in the middle. Do a little multiplication and you've measured the earth. Unfortunately, mm. they don't make 1000 kilometer tape measures. No. Instead, Meshon and Delon would mark a series of triangles across France. Triangles. Walking off just one side of a triangle in the north and south, they could use those angles to calculate the length of every link in the chain. Holy Proving smokes. Trigonometry is good for something after all. This was their tool. The repeating circle was two telescopes mounted on a ring. Zero Whoa. in on two distant markers and measure the angle between them. But a single okay. measurement was guaranteed to have some error. Right. The repeating circle was rotated and remeasured, rotated and remeasured, each time adding the new angle to the previous sum. Divide by the number of measurements and the average angle would be more precise than any single measurement. These would be the most precise surveying measurements ever attempted, giving the world an error-free meter. Unfortunately, as soon as they set off, Things in France went to etch a double hockey sticks. Revolution was in full swing. The king was in jail, then dead. And France was at war with basically everyone, but especially Spain. In city after city, people oh assumed the scientists with the funny tools were royal spies. And each time, they barely kept their heads. But after seven years of struggle, the triangles were connected. Uh oh. In 1799, Got a breakthrough. Pages, and pages of calculations were reviewed. The distance from the North Pole to the equator was determined, and a platinum meter was cut one ten millionth as long. Man Honestly, yeah. Look, guys, I'm I'm an American. This is like over my head. <laughs> like this is kind of crazy. I did not know the origin story was like this. Whoa. Mankind finally had a definitive universal measure derived from nature. There was just one problem. The meter was and is wrong. To calculate the meter, wow. they needed an accurate measure of Earth's curvature. Since Newton's scientists yeah, how do you get that? cross section was an ellipse, not a circle. Yeah, I thought the Earth wasn't a perfect circle, right? It's technically longer at the equator, correct? So it's like, is it 
elliptical is that the right word yeah that that especially back then like i don't know how they get these kind of measurements but the results dude. of the meter expedition claimed earth was twice as squished as they had thought it Ooh. wasn't they just picked a bad line to measure uh -oh. worse the curve isn't smooth this was a big discovery right. but it also invalidated the whole premise of the meter yeah how do you de how do you determine the curvature like everywhere like look i point my mouse somewhere in africa here i go all the way over to south america north america right all these are going to have different terrains. Plus, like, depending on where you are relative to the equator. Oh, boy. I mean, actually, I'm just projecting my thoughts, right? I wouldn't know how to do this because, of course not. Why would I, right? I'm just some random dude in a room who's not a scientist at all, you know, with no degree in any sort of geography whatsoever. I'm not a surveyor, right? Like, I don't know about these things. They're, they're way over my head. I find them interesting at a casual level. But a lot of it, I don't understand. Like this, like, Earth is I'm amazed that someone could come up with this stuff. Measure. But rather than admit seven years of wasted time, the new triangulations were combined with older measures for Earth's curvature. And the meter ended up being an estimate, a physical object, mm. the opposite of what it was supposed to be. Plus, it turned out one of the guys <laughs> fudged a bunch of his data, but that's a whole other story. Now, that is funny to hear because all I hear is how great the metric system is and the U.S. is stupid for not using it, which, look, at the baseline, I agree. But it is funny to hear, a little bit of ironic to hear. It's not perfect, right? It was created to be perfect, but then at, at the end of the day, it's still an estimate. Like, you heard that final conclusion. Kind of funny, got to admit. Today, we don't <laughs> measure the meter based on a hunk of metal. Or do we? In 1960, the meter was redefined as a number of atomic wavelengths, but that was calculated to match the old platinum bar. And in 1983, the meter was redefined again as the distance light will travel in 1,299,792,458 of a second. But that number was also chosen to match the old hunk of metal. Based on satellite measurements of Earth's average curvature, today we know that 10 million meters from pole to equator would leave you about two kilometers shy. The meter was invented as a perfect oh ratio, but even our meter, based on the speed of light, carries an old error, two tenths of a millimeter shorter than it should be. Two tenths of a millimeter short. Luckily, that's not too bad, right? I mean, it's off, but it's not terribly off, right? I think we can uh, be okay with it, right? If it was a lot off, you know, then we got some issues. Of course, <laughs> but, it's still a meter because we say it is. Yeah. But if you shake the basic laws of the universe, a meter doesn't fall out. It's just another invention. Hmm. But as inventions right. go, it was revolutionary. Stay curious. Yeah. You know, at the end of the day, that's just it, right? It is an invention. It is something essentially someone just had to come up with and everyone had to agree on everyone didn't agree but thankfully most people agree right if we fast forward to modern day most of the world uses metric and i feel like that was needed right i feel like when you're looking at earth from the outside you have all these countries you have to have for those reasons we stated earlier when we're looking at like the old you know 1600s 1700s when there was no standard and the risk for scams and getting stuff wrong and honest calculation errors and then of course you know lying like purposeful errors that would scam someone you know all that risk is like through the roof right because nothing's standardized so it makes sense for every country on earth to be able to communicate and trade and deal with each other in a civilized manner you got to have standards right be able to uh you know when you're trading and all that stuff you got to be able to know what's going on at both sides equally. So, of course, a standardized system makes perfect sense. doesn't really matter at the end of the day who invented it and, you know, people had to just go along with it. Like, no, like, it just makes sense that metric is adopted worldwide because that way everyone wins, essentially, and a standard. Because imagine if every country had their own system of measurements and they were not the same as all the next door neighbors they were not the same as all the countries on another continent i mean of course that would be an absolute nightmare then we have the u.s <laughs> and liberia and i can't remember the other one i know liberia and the u.s don't use metric but 
we do. It's kind of tricky, right? But we don't use it fully, and and that has been enough to put us in some weird situations, right? The U.S. has messed up before on uh, not using metric uh, fully, right? Yeah, I, I'm not surprised that we get a lot of flack for it. I'm surprised that we have never done anything about it. <laughs> kind of weird, but I, I'm not the spokesperson for the U.S. I don't know why. I don't know what they're thinking is. All I know is, you know, it's inevitable that metric, you know, would be able to creep in here more and more over time. And I think that's what it's done. And uh, who knows? Uh, maybe there is a future where the U.S. becomes fully metric. I guess we'll just have to see. But in my lifetime, I'm not holding my breath. So, yeah, in conclusion, you'll have to tell me what you thought about this. I thought this video was pretty good. It was a little bit all over the place at, at times, but that's how it was kind of back then. And it is a weird origin story with the metric system that I really didn't know because I don't really think I learned that in school. And yeah, is metric technically perfect? No, a lot of things aren't technically perfect. But I will say metric, uh, you know, it's it's easy to access, it's accessible, and it's convertible, which is uh, important as well. So yeah, got to give metric credit there. I appreciate you watching. I guess that's going to do it for this one. Hopefully, I will see you in the next video. My name is Ian. You're watching IW Rocker. Until next time, y'all. Catch you later.